everyone, my name is Akaya. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I come to you guys with all kinds of different things. Today I'll be coming at you with a recipe that I love to make. Um, I'll be making some spinach and cheese ravioli. I'm gonna put cut up some sausage inside of it. We'll be using the Philly cream cheese, the ravioli, chicken broth, and I like to always get these veggies. We're gonna cook them down and put them inside the ravioli. And yes, ma'am, we have some garlic bread. I like to buy it sometimes frozen or already done. We'll just cut that up. And that's a quick and easy meal in 30 minutes. So I'm about to go ahead and prepare this. Mix it all up. Get your raviolis uh, done. Do your sausage. I'm going to put the sausage with the green peppers. I'm going to put it inside of that pan. Mix everything up. And I'll come back with the end result. Okay guys, now it is time to add the ravioli. Make sure you read the back of the directions. You want to cook them until they start boiling to the top. They come all the way to the top of the water, but if you read this, it'll tell you also, okay? Okay, the raviolis are eating. Again, cook them until they boil to the top. As well as check the back of the um, actual uh, container. It'll tell you how long to cook them for. And don't cook them for longer than that, okay? And try them. Make sure they're good also. Hey guys, the raviolis is done. Um, I drained them. I tried one, make sure it's good. Like I said, it's going to float up to the top when they're done. Now what I'm about to do is add the spaghetti sauce. I'm going to add some Philly cream cheese. After the Philly cream cheese, I'm going to put a little bit of this um, chicken broth in it. And then I'm going to follow it up with my little mixture over there. Add everything in this pot and I'll be back. And you put as much of all the items that you want. It all depends on how much you, you know, what you want. Because I really don't even uh, measure. You know how good cooks are. We'll measure. I'm going to go ahead and put half of this in there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half and put it all in there. Okay, guys, the bread is done. I'm going to put this parchment paper on top and finish cooking the rest of the stuff. Here is the half in there. And I put just a little bit of the chicken broth inside there. Now I'm going to mix the ragu in there. And I'm going to let that melt inside of there. And one tip I want to tell you guys, when y'all making this spaghetti sauce, make sure you cover it up with something because all that popping and stuff, it'll be all over the place. Okay? See? Cover your pot. Because I'm telling you, if you don't, you'll find spaghetti sauce all on the walls and everything. Okay? But make sure you're checking it. <laughs> but just cover it. Okay? And you can give it a good stir also. Okay? I'm also going to add some parsley to it, okay? Give it a little seasoning. And Italian seasoning as well. Okay, guys, look. It is melting nicely. Just go ahead and let it melt. Okay, guys, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning to the actual spaghetti mix also. The rest of the uh, remaining mixtures, I'm going to add to it. And if you want this uh, to be a little sweet, make sure you pick some sweeter type... Uh, spaghetti sauce because if not it will kind of have a bitter taste to it okay but you can always add a little bit of sweetener something to make the spaghetti sauce like add it in the spaghetti sauce maybe a little bit of sugar or something like that to make it more sweeter okay okay guys look how nice my sauce look now i'm gonna add everything to the sauce and guys if the ravioli is stuck together because you were cooking or did something just add a little bit of water to them get them back wet and then put them inside of your um your sauce okay Okay guys, there's the ravioli. Now I'm gonna add the other mixture. I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna add the other mixture to it. And guys, when you're stirring this up, be very gentle because you don't wanna mess up the raviolis, okay? Be very gentle. Okay, now I'm gonna add this. Now I'll go ahead and get it all stirred up. And if you want, you can actually put this in the oven, put it in the baking sheet, put it in the oven, put a little bit of cheese on top. That'll work also. Or you can serve it as is. Okay, guys, it is done, and it tastes good. If you try this, let me know how you like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Bye, guys.